I found the nut house. <laughs> Most people like to know who you are. Okay. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, my name is Nancy Rose. Yes. And I am the author and illustrator or photographer of The Secret Life of Squirrels, a series uh, of books about squirrels. Right. Squirrels in miniature dioramas, little tiny props that I make and set out on my deck. And the squirrels come and interact. So Great. Not just ordinary squirrels sitting on a tree. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Uh, I started taking pictures of the squirrels probably around 2010 and just putting various items outdoors with seeds and nuts in them and they would climb in, you know, a fancy coffee mug or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden I realized, no, I could put things out that are more squirrel size and make them the dimensions that fit with the squirrels. So that was probably around 2011, 12. Um, and the first book came out in 2014. So right. What did you do before that? Oh, I was a teacher right. and high school guidance counselor. Ah. Um, Always did crafts, always did something on the side as a sort of a balance to my day job, something right. creative. I always sewed. I was a family studies teacher, so I sewed and taught crafts and whatever. So. And you have encouraged Denise to do starfish, like you <laughs> yes. do squirrels. That's how I actually met Denise, because she phoned <laughs> and asked. She said, I have this concept and I've copied it from being inspired by you right. and ran it by Nimbus and they were thrilled and they said, oh yes, if it's anything like what Nancy Rose does, we'd be thrilled. And so uh, I was very flattered by that. I, I, I thought you great. probably got to know each other because of school, both being teachers. No, no. Ah. Um, she taught, I think, in Tantalan and I was out in Milford. So, oh, yeah. okay. So no, we just so, met because of her starfish. Your passion is squirrels. Squirrels, <laughs> of all things. <laughs> well, that's why it says I do like my grandkids, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why it says welcome to the nut house. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it just was one of those things that nobody ever planned. I right. simply didn't plan it. It just grew and took on a life of its own. It was great when I was busy. I didn't have to leave my yard. Mm -hmm. I, I love taking photos and going places, yeah. and I was going places with friends and lots of day outings, but uh, when the weather was bad, I could stay home, and when I had a day off from school, I was home, and um, I ended up having a bad back and not doing too much traveling around, and so it was great to have something that could entertain me right there in my backyard. So you get many nut jokes? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you were hitting the that... I was heading to the box where I keep my sunflower seeds. The little squirrels eat a lot. Oh, they like sunflower seeds. Oh yes. Okay. Oh yes. All right, it's kind of like French fries. I have a little box here, so seeds and oh, nuts. Box. And, <laughs> and yeah, we go through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> this will get filled probably once a week or more often at this time of year, sometimes. And I'm always been every day. I'll fill. Oh, so right now I have... This is um, probably not a good time, is it? They come out in the morning? They come for breakfast yeah. and for lunch. So there's one out here now. Oh, where? Um, and if the, key, if the others hear me and know that they're... Oh, there he is! And this was um, filled not long ago. This is sometimes sits on top of this little sand table. Uh, and I had moss on it, and I was using it as a base for a diorama. Here it is in the swimming room. Squirrelies! It's almost summertime. Oh, we have chipmunks too. Lots of chipmunks. I just saw the chipmunk. <laughs> and they, once they realize it's been refilled, they usually show up. But again, they're wild animals, so they're not predictable. How many squirrels do you think come? Um, I think this morning, I think there was a family of four. Right. Four probably new siblings, so because they were arguing a lot. <laughs> there were only three able to sit on the feeders. Oh. <laughs> uh, the other day I was a little more energetic and I had little piles on this big piece of styrofoam. There's two feeders on the tree over there. I had food in those. 
and I had these three filled and I had a little bit over there so there were about six running around I think there were two families um, here we have a chipmunk over here There's where's the chipmunk oh, look at, look at very pretty comfortable. There's a few of them that I can actually catch. I'm surprised they're not afraid of me. No, they couldn't care less. They just want food. Um, <laughs> they'll just run right across your feet. <laughs> they're pretty brave little things. The squirrels are more skittish, but I think they're used to seeing people wander around. My husband and I are out here a lot. Birds and, well, and, and deer? I yeah, haven't seen too many deer this summer. Is that right? um, just saw the mom with her fawn. She walked through the edge of the backyard the other day with a tiny, tiny fawn. Oh. Um, have pheasants, and there's one guy who will just wander around in amongst everything else. So he knows now that I bring the food, so he usually isn't too afraid, and he'll kind of come fairly close. Like I can be maybe eight, ten feet from the pheasant. We're just pretty close to a pheasant. They're usually pretty skittish. Where do you do your setups? Here, somewhere here, depending on what I'm doing. So a day like today is no good because the shadows are too strong. Um, in the winter, I work in my office, which is here behind it. There is in the room in there. Mm -hmm. I open the window and I shoot out here. So I might have things on that glass picnic table. Um, I might have that styrofoam up on the picnic table. With the styrofoam, I can secure things like I can attach oh, toothpicks no. to the bottom of oh, the right. and then poke it down in the styrofoam but then I have to sort of disguise the fact that it's a piece of styrofoam so spread moss on it or on my fake grass <laughs> <laughs> um, and I can poke down through the grass this is out here because recently I was working on some last pictures for a calendar and oh, oh hummingbird here we go. Oh, you heard me. <laughs> um, and I had a big sheet of plastic. Um, I had my little table right here. The plastic was kind of clipped onto my fence. It clipped onto the side of that. I was trying to diffuse the light because it was just too sunny and I needed the shot and I was on a deadline. So, And we were just getting sunny weather. <laughs> so how many books have you published? Uh, there are five that are out and number six is due for next summer so Ooh. it's it's pretty much finished um my part's all done and it's it's coming next be released for a summer release next year yeah another one in the planning after that um not right now <laughs> also i also have been doing calendars so i've just finished all the pictures, all the pictures for our 2024 calendar. So they're always ahead. Um, and the 2023 one, I think, is being released mid-July. How old, Mr. Blue? He will take what he can. <laughs> it's usually not quiet out here. There's usually lots of action, but then some days I think, okay, I'm all set to take pictures, and nobody shows up. So. Um, and now, of course, these are new squirrels. These are the younger ones that have been born in the spring. So when I started trying to take the pictures again, I wasn't sure they were going to... The blue away. jays and the squirrels get along? Oh, the squirrels will chase the blue jay away if they can. Okay. And we've got a nuthatch. The squirrels are the boss. The chipmunk scares the pheasant. Um, they will dash at the pheasant. The pheasant will. Are you them. serious? Yeah. <laughs> Big pheasant, little chipmunk. The chipmunk's the boss there. <laughs> <laughs> it is hilarious watching the, uh, yeah, the power imbalances. <laughs> so your calendars, do you publish those yourself? No, these are actually done by. My first four books were published by Little Brown, um, their company or Hatchet Books, in um, New York, out of New York. And so they did four, The Secret Life of Squirrels, sort of a series. And then uh, they decided that was enough for that series. And then uh, my agent contacted me one day and had a request from Workman Publishing, another American publisher, for a calendar. So mm. once I did the first calendar, then I kind of pitched the book idea. Um, and the book they published was actually my very first story, an alphabet book that they that Little Brown didn't want. They didn't want an alphabet book. For little kids, they wanted more of a story. So, yeah, so my first story finally came out with variations and edits, of course. 
and then the second one. So they did two. So hopefully we'll have a third. Oh, oh look at that. <laughs> yeah, you can get your nature photography in today. <laughs> <laughs> So do you want to show us some of your displays? Sure. Shall we go indoors? Yes. This is where I do my computer stuff. Right. I actually was still haven't replied. I just got this. Oh, is, no. This is the next book. Camping 123, which will come out next summer. Oh, you even got a campfire. It's foil. <laughs> it looks like it's real. Shining on it. How did you get the squirrels in there? Um, well, You're roasting marshmallows. Well, that one to get the four sitting so closely and all in focus, it's actually four shots that okay. end up having to be overlaid. Um, so no, that's okay. I, I don't totally photoshop them into a scene, but I do sometimes overlay. Oh, look at this! This is one of your calendars. This is one of the calendars for 2022. <laughs> I can show you that prop upstairs. And where are your books? I have a few here in this bag. Just clear everywhere. The Secret Life of Squirrels. So oh. this is Workman Publishing. So they used the same title, which I was happy with. But they wanted to continue that. Squirrel Colors. <laughs> <laughs> the first book oh. was translated into Japanese. Is that right? So you have a Japanese market. Well, I guess. You never know what the sales would be. And the first book they made into a board book. Oh, yes. And then Scholastic picked up the... I guess Scholastic picked up the, the four of them. And so they made the paperback version, Whoa. which I wish I had in here. Because if you want to send somebody a book, it's a lot easier and cheaper. Uh, the Back to School... And what's this one? And this is a love story. Oh, oh. <laughs> publisher suggested oh. Valentine's Day. Oh, yes. And then the very first book, um, in the U.S., it's a blue mailbox. Oh, box. yes. And then in Canada, they, really? the publisher photoshopped it red and changed the font. Because wow. we have red mailboxes in Canada. Yes, of course. So it was distributed as red. And the Christmas one, which oh. was the second one. Right. right. Christmas cross. And then this is the oh. most recent one. Oakley the Squirrel, The Search for Z. And apparently now they're thinking of changing the title so that it matches the next book. Which yeah. is? The, the Camping 123. Oh, yes. So... Yeah. So this is what they're proposing is to change the title to ABC and the missing Z instead of the search for Z so that uh, it's more like a series, like they're like a right. pair, early concept books. What's so, this one? And, oh, what's the sorry, same? Same one. Same one. Two of the same. Two of the same. Yeah. You have more? No. And the calendars. Oh. Uh, uh, so they published a wall calendar. And a mini calendar. So that was 24. Let's see what the mini calendar 24 is. pictures each year. Plus an extra inside. 26 pictures. So some of them were older pictures. Um, the mini, they were usually a little more of a close up kind of a picture. <laughs> oh, for each month. Yeah, trying to keep things sort of a theme for the month, a little Easter. Yeah. Um, now, this is well, similar to the other lemonade one. We got two guys here. I should have got two on the wall. Oh, I love the dory. Yeah. That was a little Newfoundland dory. And a little baby shower. <laughs> or nursery. Shopping for school supplies. <laughs> I made the little, sewed the little oh, tiny yeah. knapsack. Little tiny yeah. wire thingies. And a little Halloween gathering. It's what year was this calendar? This is this year's 2022. Okay. Yeah. Great. I have a spare. Oh. You should take home. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> you can give it to the kids. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's only half a year left. <laughs> oh, this is going up to the squirrel room. Okay, okay. so. This is where we're really getting into the nut house. This is the real <laughs> nut house. Yes, we got squirrels on the wall there. Um, there's Whoa. only so many ways you can store so much Whoa, stuff. Look at all the stuff. So there's a lot of stuff now. But this is interesting. Light. What? 
Huh? Yeah, okay. Well, that's good. But... Oh, my. I don't know. Okay, that's yeah, um, I could say what Denise said. I am getting older and I might need a nap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed when oh. she said that in about her little writing studio. So is this your napping time? Uh, no, this just happens to be... A guest room. <laughs> if they're nutty enough. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I used to occasionally get more than one set of visitors So uh, when my sisters would all show up. Uh -huh. So somebody would sleep up here, um, but mostly it's not used. Except the grandkids love, they want, oh, cannot yeah. not get in that book, a bed every time he comes to visit. Oh, look at this! <laughs> so this was a big collage poster that I had put together. These were some of my first pictures. And I had that on the wall in my guidance office. Um, so occasionally when students came into my room feeling kind of down and sad, they'd look at the wall and start to giggle. <laughs> it could sometimes distract them and get them out of the mood they were in. So I had to, it had to have itself a little home. <laughs> I used to make lamp shades. Oh. And <laughs> and Do a lot of sewing? I, I used to sew all the time. Um, I made everything, um, all my clothes. Yeah. Um, and I you mean your own other clothes? People. Sure, yeah, and I sewed for other people. And what I made dresses there? for a little um, little fashion shop when I lived in uh, Gander. Yeah, so sewing I was kind of my first, first craft. I thought you did sewing for squirrels. I did that too. <laughs> I made little tiny clothes. Would you like to see this? Yes, yes. Little tiny coat. So he needed to search for the letter Z or Z, and I made him a little tiny mm. raincoat yeah. to go with his What's yellow that? fisherman hat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what a collection. So a lot of things I make, but people also send me stuff. From where? A lot of it comes from Germany. There's a couple Germany? in Germany who saw an article in a magazine about my squirrel photos and they decided when they were at a flea market that they should pick some things up and mail them to me. So a lot of what they sent is, is fairly big. Um, this whole top shelf practically came, well not everything. Let's have a look. Okay, let me see. The typewriter, which is actually too big. This came from another friend that I worked with. Um, yeah, that came from Germany. I made the fireplace. You made them? There's a little wagon here. Mm -hmm. You know what? I can't remember. I think I bought the wagon. This old bike, the car, this car, the motorcycle, this old fashioned car, those all came from Germany. So December, I get this great big box. It's like Christmas for sure. Yeah, I guess. Um, and then they fill the box, all the empty spaces in the box with chocolates, oh. all kinds of German chocolate. Oh. <laughs> chocolate enough to last until mm. at least Easter. It's extremely amazing. Uh, this is a, a tent that I just used, the, the newest book, which I just love, is Camping 123. And it's uh, a counting story for children, right. and it rhymes. And I always wanted to have a book that rhymed, but publishers tend to steer away from books with rhyme, I guess. So finally they, they accepted this one in the script. Um, and recently I've been working on you know, beach scenes. We have our little oh, sand yes, castles. Yes. Um, this is a chair, part of a set that came from Germany. Here's a little styrofoam cooler that I made out of actual styrofoam <laughs> and kind of carved it and covered it. So that was all part of the camping and then I used it for a beach scene. Um, there's just so much <laughs> stuff mm. everywhere. Yeah, I see that. pieces. Um, this girl's bathroom. That <laughs> so it's basically just, you know, you can see at this point looking pretty rickety, a cardboard box. Um, things kind of taped together. What's your position? And it you right? have no trouble getting the squirrels to go in? Sometimes I do. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it takes a long time for them to kind of catch on. Other times they just seem to figure it out right away. Um, Did you ever think of videos rather than just still? Um, I think the final resolution, if I got like a particular clip to, to isolate it, I don't know if it would have enough pixels or not. I'm not sure. 
I have taken little videos, but I usually don't want to take a video until I know I've got the shot because I'm so afraid that they'll do something really interesting <laughs> and then I won't be able to use it because it'll be in the video. And I know I just think of the stills as having more okay, pixels just... and resolution, but I'm not sure what my camera has. Um, yeah, wow. It's a funny little thing. Um, the kids like my school bus. I could take that down. Oh, up there. <laughs> Under the swing. So here's an example. This yes. little swing has toothpicks in it. Oh, yes. So we go down into the styrofoam, and then when they climb on it, it doesn't fall over. But I recently made a new swing. Oh, yes. For a new swing set. This is a yes. more modern swing set. So, oh. <laughs> so they Did they actually get in that? Well, unfortunately, no, they didn't. Uh, chipmunk did, but the squirrels didn't. Uh, but they stood on both sides of it because I had sunflower seeds on it. So they kind of looked like they were discussing who was going to yeah. swing and who was going to push. And and then they had their little sandbox. sandbox. But they got in the sandbox because there were Lots of nuts. Uh, nuts in there. But I wanted them to do something interesting. So eventually, and I think it was three days, eventually one of them looked like he was holding the little shovel. Oh. Uh, they did run away with the buckets a few times because they had seeds in them. <laughs> so there's your school bus. And there's the school bus. That's a hit, is it? The students, for some reason, love it. So when I go to schools and do visits, they all want to see the school bus. Um, so that was paper mache. Um, probably took about a week to, to make all the layer, cover all the layers in paper and let each layer dry and, and then finally paint it and cut out the doors. And you know, it's really rickety. Um, in some lighting, you can see every bump and every curve, but the, the final shot that I got was in nice muted lighting and it actually looked quite smooth and it didn't really look quite so crafted. <laughs> Handcrafted. Um, and the last book, the uh, counting book, when my publisher suggested a follow-up to ABC, a concept yeah. book, they said, well, maybe counting. And I had been wanting to do a book with my camping trailer. So I thought, well, what are they going to count? What's the story going to be? And I decided they would go camping. Mm -hmm. um, so the little friends all go camping. Um, and they have one red and white trailer with an awning for shade. The awning for four, and then two blue and white coolers with food that they made. And you saw one cooler, and I don't know where the other one is. Somewhere. Do you know how many books you've sold? Um, not specifically recently. I don't know my recent ones from Workman Publishing. They don't give me the data. Um, the Secret Life of Squirrels, the first book it, itself, that first one, probably around 100,000. And then the next three, sort of declining numbers, because there was a Christmas one, a Valentine's one, and the back to school. So they're not like a year-round kind of purchase. Yeah, I was very surprised. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, so you have any plans for the future? No. <laughs> um, well, when I was working on the last calendar, I was like, I think I've run out of ideas. Uh, but then when I sent off my last couple of pictures, my editor says, well, actually, we've made our decisions we don't need any more pictures. We'll save these for 2025. My contract was 21, 22, 23, and 24. As soon as she said 2025, I was like, oh, okay, I could do another one. And then I'm like, oh, because <laughs> it seems like I've taken so many shots and I send them, you know, like 150 different images to choose from, five or six of the same scene. Um, but they're very specific. Um, they're very good at making selections. They want the squirrel looking straight at the viewer if they can and interacting, not just sitting there eating a peanut or whatever. So that's the hard part. Wow. And some days I think, oh, this is never going to happen. But other days it's it worked really fast and it's, it's exciting when it works. So. so you're not getting tired of it? Not really. No. I have never really done anything for more than five years at a time. <laughs> um, but how this has been the this? longest. How many years well, now? Well, I guess really you know, 2010, 2012. 
So we're into at least 10 years. Yeah. Yeah, it's about the longest I've stayed in anything. <laughs> I guess it's just because I'm old, there's nothing else to move on to. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I like photography of anything, but, you know, with COVID, it was great. Oh, I know. Not having to go anywhere to get my photos. My friends who took pictures of people who couldn't do what they did. Squirrels and I and COVID weren't an issue. <laughs> so do you touch adults' hearts as well as kids? Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I get letters from people all over the country. Um, yeah. And and then just, you know, even Facebook, the comments on Facebook and people just... I didn't know so many people liked squirrels. You know, there are people, tons of people who have a Twitter page for their yes. squirrel and a Facebook page for their squirrel and people who really like squirrels. Wow. I mean, I just thought... It was just me who found them intriguing, but, you know, it's it's a wild animal that people can interact with, yeah. and I think that gives people a special sense of, yeah, a wild animal trusts me. It's different than a cat or a dog, because you know they're going to like you, yeah. but to make that bond with a wild animal is kind of special. Well, I know you touched yeah. Natalie and Carter's hearts. Oh, they were just so cute. <laughs> I enjoyed meeting them. I was going to tell you to bring them. Well, they're in the valley now. Oh. Actually, yeah. So, uh, but we'll have to come back again. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. For sure. Well, yeah. I really appreciate you sharing this. It's been fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Okay, great. Thanks. It's been awesome. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>